I'm about to start doing an apron project. Uh, first off, I'm going to do the base coat, and I'm using these gorgeous metallic textile paints from um, Cadence uh, that are available at Catchy Crafts. Now, I'm going to be choosing three colors. Hopefully, these three colors will work with the papers that I'm going to decoupage on later. The reason I use these textile paints is that once I heat seal them, I'm able to wash the apron. And if anybody has seen me at the shows, they will know that I need to wash the aprons very regularly. Ne See you in the next step. Okay, I'm starting off at the top with uh, lighter colours. I'm then going to come back and blend them with, with the different colours. I'm using these nice flat brushes just because I um, want to cover a lot of area very quickly. I've also mixed a little bit of water in with the paint just to dilute it a little bit because it was a bit thick and I want to get a bit of coverage so and I don't want it to cover the material totally I want to just give it a hint of shimmer but as you can see it's starting to really shine hopefully you can see it in the video it is a very shiny surface already just with one coat I'm now adding the third color I will blend them in better later but um, I'm just splashing on color and that's what I recommend everybody does this is not supposed to be precise it's just supposed to be very blended but just laying down the first layer of color this paint is so shimmery it's amazing not sure if that shows up on the video okay now I have finished blending all the colors and this will be the palette that I have to add all the bits to it so it's all a sh you can't really see it in the video but it's all shimmery um, backgrounds in three different colors of Dora metallic textile. For the next step we need the fabric decoupage glue. The reason we're using this glue is because once it's dry and we iron it you can wash it. And also these decoupage sheets also from Cadence. They're uh, great patterns and they're very very um, economical. Now to cut these out, I've already done some here previously, the best way to do these is actually to wet them with a brush. So I just wet the areas that I want to decoupage. So just wet that area and then gently tear it. I prefer to have the uneven sides because this makes it easy to glue down and to incorporate into my pattern. So I'm just going to do all this and then start attaching it with the glue to the apron. Now the way to do that is to coat liberally the back of the paper with the glue and then stick it down and coat the top of the paper as well. That way it seals it and you can wash it. Once you have uh, glued the decoupage papers on with the fabric decoupage glue, you use a bit of a bit of the dry paint and you blend the edges so that they're not too obvious. Now the next step is to uh, lightly spray a stencil with uh, the craft adhesive because it's a repositionable so when you leave it go tacky so let it go tacky um, spray it lightly because you don't want it to transfer to the fabric then stick it where you want to put it down using memento louche I'm using memento louche because memento louche is for fabrics uh, and mixed media so this will once again be able to be washed on fabric so use that with um, the cross for you blending tool and stencil the, uh, onto the fabric. So that's the next step. In a circular motion you apply it through the stencil and this will give it a light stencil because I just want, I'm using a truffle like a brownie color because I don't want it to be overpowering. I just want to give it a hint of the color so it'll be coming out something like that. Okay this is it done with the first level of stenciling which is done with the memento luge just to join all the features together and give it a background. It's almost like stamping on the fabric. So some areas I've put the whole stencil, other areas just little bits of the stencil. I'm now going to move on to doing some foiling with the uh, foil bond and foils. I've actually decided that I'm going to be using some glitter relief paste. This is a fabric glitter relief paste in gold. Uh, we've got it in gold and silver. I'm just going to use a gold version. And it comes on creamy white, but hopefully when it dries, it will be bright glitter gold. And once again, it is for fabric, so it should be washable. 
Now we have the glitter that has uh, dried. So now I'm ready to put on the foil. So I'm going to, I've sprayed the stencil again. I'm putting it down. This time I'm using foil bond, cream foil bond. When it goes on, it's white. It's a milky white. It needs to be totally translucent before you can pat on the foils. Now the foils I am using are the Go Press foils, but you can use any foils you want. Okay, once the foil bond is dry, which means you can hardly see it, you then pat on the foils. Don't press too hard and, the, and you just keep on patting the foils until you cover all the sticky areas. So you might have to go over the same area multiple times until all the stickiness is gone and the foil has been transferred to the images. I'm including how to make this gorgeous uh, apron.